Gemini, what's bugging you? I just had an alarm glow, glow off and it like set me off. And then I had to really refrain because when we use um, harsh language, it disconnects the heart to the throat chakra. So if you guys have been cussing up a storm, we don't want to blo block throat chakra, but we also don't want to be disconnected from our heart because that inhibits our ability to speak and convey our truth, our inner convictions. And moving away from cursing, I can just say that it's something that lets people listen to you. It allows for people to hear you without getting triggered. It allows for you to convey something that is unique to your heart, which is the authenticity. It's the ability to express yourself and have impact. Right now, the sun is in your first house and Black Moon Lilith is in your fourth house. And with this new modality of astrology, I want us to be able to create from our heart and build confidence and then work through our fears with this unshakable confidence. So Black Moon Lilith is already in the third decan of your fourth house. So this is the house of the mother, um, the the upbringing, like how you were made to feel confident about yourself. You guys naturally rule the third house of siblings, short distance travel, talent, and me growing up with two Gemini twin sisters, um, a younger brother who's a Taurus, an older brother who's a, a Libra with his son in the second decan of Libra. I'm in the first decan. Um, we had to compete for attention, but we also came together and did some really cool stuff. Like we were very talented kids. So three of air, there is healing going on from this relationship to your mother, from this dynamic that you had growing up that really kind of, it, it dimmed your ability to be yourself and to feel safe being yourself because there was always, I guess, a threat. Yeah, trauma nagamo around how you were received. You weren't received well, okay? And when we give ourselves the chance to reparent ourselves, Let's look at the, are we cussing a lot? Are we harsh with our language? Is our throat and heart chakra connected to where I believe that this or in the back of the throat, there's a chakra for the seed of the soul. Is your soul able to come through your speech? And how can we work to heal that? Troma Nagamo, she arises instinctively responding to a severe threat to your well-being, freedom and sacred fulfillment. Her fierce form causes the impure to tremble and the pure of heart to move close. She is ferocious in her wrath against injustice. Dispense with thoughts of vengeance. Pray for mercy for all beings, especially those trapped in patterns of consciousness, harmful towards themselves and others. Open your heart to her heart and allow for her to attend to all matters of karma while you remain true to your higher self. So karma, coming from Robbie Hunt, 22 degree Aquarius mastermind, um, she has said that karma is feelings trapped in the body from previous incarnations that we are in this lifetime working to hear, hear, heal, and cleanse. What within you has been silenced? What within you has been suppressed so that you couldn't be at your best? You couldn't bloom fully. You weren't allowed to shine as a child. And it was, you know, crammed down your throat, this message that leaves you with these feelings of wanting to get back at people, wanting to lash out at people. Vengeance is of the Lord. So we just have to let people experience the feelings that they have trapped in their system that has nothing to do with us. It has nothing to do with us, how people treat us, but everything ha comes from within. So what we see outside of us comes from within. So if you guys have these feelings that you really want to heal in your thought patterns, in your memories, um, you have to be open to receive some, some justice, some new feelings, some new sensations. I want to read what Troma Nagamo says for the healing ritual. Okay, so allow yourself to imagine, intend, and visualize or feel invisible shackles falling away from your soul, your body, and your mind. You may even physically sense or hear them as they hit the ground with a clunk before melting into Troma Nagamo's powerful cleansing fires that rise to consume them. Even if you cannot sense such a thing, trust that it's happening. Notice how you feel. Perhaps clearer, freer, more able to breathe, and expand more naturally and easily as constraints are released. You may feel different and not yet comfortable in that difference. That's okay too. Gaze again at the image on the card. Place your hand on your heart and then lightly touch the same hand to the screen because I'm holding the card here for you as a symbol of gratitude and acknowledgement of the Divine Mother's presence in your life. Finish with your hands in prayer and bow your head. Oh, 
Okay. So things are breaking apart or coming together. Just know that it's because you're making these decisions based on a, an ability to hold an aura that is you. It's radiantly you. It's and because I decided to wear red to, or not red, yellow. Red is the color of Pele. It's the color of um, maybe you're wearing red because you're willing to kind of stand in your value and wash away. Um, I would say the hysteria and move into a place of passion and impassioned self-expression, impassioned authenticity. I do have red roses. My husband was being kind to me because I was on my moon cycle. Um, I have them sitting here with me at my desk. I usually keep them in the kitchen. I don't know why I do that, but I usually do. And for me, it's like keeping at distance what, what is meant for me. How have you been keeping at distance the connections that you authentically over time, you'll see people who continue to pour into you a genuine love, and maybe you've kept them at a distance because of this deep hurt, this, des this severance of your heart to your throat chakra, and this anger, this, this wrath even that you've had. How can you look at, um, so the ways that we were parented, apparently that's how we parented in a past life. This came from a reading that I got with my, my sensei of like five years. So it's something that I can see after going home post um, this very amazing spiritual conference because I really had to test how enlightened am I? And I traveled to a, I have a vlog if you guys are interested, a Pluto conjunct moon line. So my emotions had to go through a deep rinse. Like, you know, if you think about washing your clothes in the river, like you wash it against the stones to make sure you get those stains out. Um, then we also have Ku and Hina with the moon up. So there will be a full moon in Capricorn at the end of the month. Um, but by the end of this week, the moon moves into cancer and that's in your second house. So you'll be getting a renewed washing of your, your sense of values and how your feminine, your creative urges can be supported by your masculine energy. And that I think will also be clear at the end of the month. There will be, um, also it's good in the Hawaiian tradition to gather flowers after the full moon and use them for lei, which is a symbol of friendship. It's a symbol of connection. Even if this is just a private ceremony that you have, this, this moment for you is giving that you're going to move from being able to decide that you're, you're valuable just as you are in your aura, shining authentically as yourself, but then also purifying that speech, coming to a place where, um, with artist way, I did, I did it three times and I'm stopped at uh, chapter nine of my third journey. So I'll get back to that pretty soon. But it's something that for the first like month, every morning I was writing out every single thing that triggered me. And it was like a brain dump. It was literally like a detox of what was being curdling, what was curdling within me and needed to boil to the surface to remove the dross, the impurities of my emotional expression, um, my willingness to hold space for that emotional expression in a non-judgmental way. And then seeing that Venus will move to a net nine in the second decan of your sign, it's going to be ahead of the sun. So your heart will be opening up naturally from the love that you're giving yourself. And then your fears will be washing away with the actions that you're choosing to take, like doing those morning pages, like stopping cursing. Because again, it doesn't, it hurts people and it drives them away when you have harsh words, harsh intentions. People feel that. And all we do for you, Gemini, is hold loving space because if, if we're able to rise above it, that um, distillation of oil and water, um, oil is, in Sanskrit, it means love. And the water, I believe, is something that we have to continuously pray over, bless, give healing light and love and energy towards. And I sense that you guys are going to allow for this healing to come through, but it's going to be something that by the full moon in Capricorn at the end of the month, let's see exactly what that is. Um, oh, we've got to go ahead and month. Full moon will be June 22nd, a one degree full moon around loving what it is that what you guys decide for yourself and deciding that you're worthy of love. If you're looking to bring in a lifetime, a lifelong partner, someone to be with you for this life and to witness you as you grow, change and love, just know that you have to heal that mother wound. You have to heal that that first connection that brought you into the world. There was recently on Human Garage, Ra let us in a 
Ma connection. And he just chanted the name Ma. Love it. Um, to ground. But then also, if you think about the moment that your, your mother got news that she was pregnant with you, and if you could witness her, what came up for her? How in this moment can you seal seal that? How can you seal and heal those energies that you were in her womb so you felt every sensation that she felt? You, you literally were nurtured by every single thing that she ate. How can you start to peel away the things that you no longer need, the things that really hurt you? Because that will be what purifies you. That will be what allows for you to drop these chains and reconnect your heart to your throat chakra. Gemini, I got a lot of other content for you to dive into and just know that by the end of this week, the actions that you take will be putting you in a place to reconnect your heart and your throat chakra. It'll be purifying your mind. You might have to go on a detox, three-day water fast, three-day coconut water fast if you need some sort of like sustenance. The sugar and the like small amounts of protein are really helpful. And then also 10-day silent Vipassana. That must be a heck of a journey. I look forward to being able to do it on my own. But again, I'm getting these messages, so it's a balance. We got to figure out what we could do and maybe even giving up um, alcohol or substances for three days and doing this water fast will be something that you have to build up to over time. Maybe you just start with um, pule, which is from the morning till noon. That's one of my favorite ways to pray is you don't consume anything. So try any of those things. Try all of them. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Just know I love you so much. Aloha, Gemini.